In this video, I want to prove this proposition by using logic, logic statements. So we have that a, b, and c are natural numbers, and we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we want to show that among these three numbers, at least one of these numbers must be even. So uh, I don't know how it's called exactly, but I'm going to prove this problem by cases. So, and I'm going to make my first statement. I'm going to assume, so my like proposition is going to be A is even or B is even. And you can also do like A and C, B and C. Proof is going to be slightly different, but the idea stays the same. So, uh, if, I, if I'm going to assume that A is even or B is even, then the uh, our then we are done. Why? Because our goal to have at least number is not even. And from here we'll get that we are done. Why? Because we assume that one number is even, so we have this number is even. And our actual goal uh, take the negation of this. And negation of this is going to be a is. If number is not even, it means number is odd. A is odd. And B is odd. And A is odd and B is odd. Our goal to show that there exists at least one even, we want to show that C is even. How are we going to show this? In every math proof, math proposition, math, and what is about math, if you have your starting statement and you have your ending statement, you want to use definitions. So you want to really understand what you're doing in this theorem. So uh, since uh, I know that A is odd and B is odd, I can conclude that since A is odd, by using the definition of odd number, I can say that a equal to n plus 1 for some natural n. In the same way, I can say uh, b is odd, that b equal 2k plus 1. And why 2k plus 1? Why? Because usual number not the same, so they should be different. If k equals n, it means the number going to be the same. Uh, also for some k belongs to natural. But when we have these two numbers, so we actually write the definition of what does it mean a, uh, to be, uh, a number to be odd. And then I'm going to use this assumption. And by using this assumption, I'm going to show that c is even. So let's write a squared plus b squared. I will get it equals to 2n plus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 squared. And after this I will get that uh, 4n squared plus 4n plus 1 plus plus 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And you can see you have 1 plus 1 is going to be equal to 2, so you can factor 2. When you're going to factor 2 you will get 2n squared plus 2n plus 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. And you know that the whole thing, a squared plus b squared, equals 2 times some number. So I can say 2 times, let's say, n, where this is the whole thing uh, equals to m. And you can see you haven't you didn't divide here, so this thing belongs to n. So a squared plus b squared. So let me rewrite this. So I'll get that a squared plus b squared equals two times m for sum m belongs to n. Okay, so I got that a squared plus b squared is even. But it's from one side, but from another side, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I have that c squared equals 2 times m. 
Yeah. And actually, I think I need to prove this in another video, but uh, we have some proposition theorem. Uh, this uh, proposition, like from number theory, uh, we know that, uh, so like, uh, let's say small lemma. We know that if P is prime number, and P divides A times B, then from here it follows that P either divide A or P divides B. So it means if you have a prime number that divides some uh, two numbers, then prime number must divide the first one or the second one. And how I'm going to use this one? Okay, I'm going to move continue my proof over here. I have that 2 times m, let's actually use another color, uh, 2 times m equal c times c. Yeah, so 2 is a prime number and 2 divides uh, uh, c times c. So 2 must divide at least one of the C. So from here we'll get the 2 divide C or 2 divide C. But, but either of the statement will give you the 2 divide C. And this is the last statement, it's exactly the definition uh, uh, of the even number. So from here you can conclude that C is even. Yeah. Thank you.